Hi folks, how are we doing? Welcome to a Super Formula Lights track guide at Twin Ring Matigi. Quite an unpopular circuit and I'm not sure why. I imagine the participation will dip a little bit. Whenever I've done a track guide round here, it has been a quiet week. I'm not sure why, but this round here in the dry, very fun. And also, weirdly, in the wet. I, this is by far one of the most enjoyable practice sessions I've had in the wet. So let's crack on with it. Yes, welcome to Twin Ring Motiki. This actually has an oval going around it, but you can't race it in iRacing. I do think it's weird that it does actually have an oval. But yeah, very, very nice little circuit. It's got a pretty weird layout. It seems to be like a double, few double left-handers, double right-handers, things like that, and a couple of fast corners. There is two hairpins towards the end of the circuit, which when we're in the wet, I'll point them out because there is basically giant oceans to be honest of of water so be cautious around there but this thing around the dry very very fun very very grippy it does suit this car in my opinion it does suit this car quite well uh, particularly on the fixed setup i do run these on the fixed setup and these are the weather settings that i use there's cones in the middle of the track there watch out for them um but yeah these are the weather conditions that i'm going to be using i use fixed weather conditions because i want to make sure that the conditions stay consistent across it obviously in whatever race we'll have weather in going forward might be variable so you can make a degree of the two track guide sort of thing but anyway this going around in the wet is a very different story as always you break off the racing line because it is rubbery and a little bit slippery and a few of these corners you do have to you can break kind of where the wet line is depending on a few of the corners but some of them you have to really be careful with these mahosive oceans or lakes i'm trying to not going to say the full word puddle in this lap guide because i said it someone commented so thank you very much i said i'm going to call them lakes instead of puddles and then i said like the puddle word 17 times but yeah as long as you're off the racing line in some of these corners they're okay to deal with uh but obviously you have to watch out for the lakes because they are there and do appear like these corners here as always on the curbs trying to avoid them the best you can and things like that biggest thing in these wet races as you've probably seen on iRacing, racing is just survivability so as long as you can see the checker flag you normally will do well otherwise enough me waffling let's crack on with the guide all right then twin ring this wonderful little circuit again might not be too popular but we are hunting for turn one and it's a long way down we are using the 50 meter marker just there you want to dab on the brakes and then start turning in probably aim for a mid sort of track position here don't worry about hitting that apex too much but slow the car down around it and make sure you hit this apex right here get on the curb get smoothly on the throttle you can get a little bit of snap of oversteer if you do run too far wide there so be cautious about that one bring the car over to the right hand side nice and slowly there will be an opportunity for dive bombs through here so uh, be cautious about that one but we using the 70 meter marker just there just after it try not to hit the cones that can damage your front wing but all the way down into third gear loads of curb on this one don't get on throttle too early we want to get sort of close to the epic uh, exit curb there but we want to maximize this corner we can take a flout if we get it absolutely right i do run wide here and for some reason that wasn't an off track but i have gone out that far before and it was an off track so be mindful about that coming down now to a very awkward right hander now we're breaking very very late on this one just before the 50 meter marker at the traffic light cone as well break really Really heavy really slow this car down second gear through here get a nice late apex just as the curb on the apex ends and then smooth on throttle because you don't want to run too far wide because you will hit the grass and then spin out under the bridge so bear that in mind this is absolutely flat out so don't even worry about it just try and clip the curb on the way through and then bring the car over to the right hand side now at the end of the curbing here is our turning point so we want to break on the curbing and then turn in on the end of it reason i mentioned the turning because we want to stay as far left as we can because we want to maximize this one so we want to try and open up this corner as much as we can to increase that throttle if you get a better exit out of here you will be able to have an overtake into this last hairpin here so bear that in mind also so we're looking for the breaking point which is that little white mark just so we get up to it break in a nice straight line again all the way down to second gear now this one was quite nice you can get the car rotated nice late apex and smash the throttle for in second gear and you should be absolutely fine loads of curb on apex but on exit sorry but be cautious of that in the wet as we will find out momentarily 50 meter marker again all the way down here for the braking point so just before a couple of car lengths for it again brake really really heavy now a very very late apex for this one if you want to go down to first gear to really get the switch back you can do but second gear is probably optimal smooth application of throttle we need a really really good exit this is by far the longest straight down here and we sort of go uphill a little bit and then downhill so getting the best exit we can will benefit our lap times and also trying to defend from some sort of slipstream down here could be interesting anyway hunting down downhill braking zone so be cautious about this one we're looking at the front white line just after it again don't go full brakes because i think you'll lock up and make sure you get the car slow down before you start turning in really really crucial this one this corner does tighten up on exit so it's very easy to run wide as well bring the car over all the way to here over the right hand side middle of the circuit this one we want to try and maximize our entry into the last few corners so at this point 
We start braking gently and turning in. Sort of straight line this curve, pop over there, and then another jab of the brakes for this one. Second or third gear for this one, but just make sure you don't run wide. It is so easy to take too much speed in that corner and then ruin the exit. So make sure you slow in, fast out for your optimum line. And that is us, done and dusted, in the dry. The wet is very, very fun, but very, very different. Right, wet weather time. And you can see we're already off the racing line for our braking into turn one. Kind of similar to turn one and apex, but we want to make sure we miss the second apex if that makes any sense to you. So we're breaking massively early this one, just after the 100 meter board, a couple of car lengths before and after it. Sorry, that puddle is okay to go through, but again, stay well clear of that curb and try and get the car rotated on the nice dirty stuff and then be easy through here. Snap of oversteer there as we're coming onto the clean line, as it were, a little bit slippery, and you can have another snap of oversteer here, a big snap there. Let's try and get the best exit you can out of there without spinning. Bring the car over to the right hand side, but not too far over because again we want to break off the racing line so at this point i'm kind of breaking the 70 meter board again just before it, a couple of car lengths and then break very very deep now there's a puddle right there just with our nose go over it. we want to straddle it and don't hit that massive great lake there on that apex but we want to say mid circuit around here this corner is very treacherous you see i get too close to this lake on the inside here and i get a little bit of extra rotation which is not good so be cautious about that one take a wider line through there get on a nice dirty rubbery side for the grip and you should be absolutely golden better exit down there it's going to be key for a good overtake coming down to this very awkward corner again again we're breaking early 100 meter marker off the racing line break nice and heavy fair amount of grip here try and nick a little bit of the uh, opening of the corner here but again very very slowly miss the uh, puddles on the apex i'm saying puddles again and try and get a nice smooth application of throttle here on exit don't touch the curb and look the rain disappears at the bridge how nice is that word on i racing for that one now there is a little marker there on the road where the lock where the tarmac has joined you want to stay wide of that one short shift in fifth gear you can actually get running there slightly full throttle so bear that in mind as well start the curbing here on the right hand side again we don't want to be on the racing line but you want to be on the race line as you get around this corner because again we need to really compromise this corner as best we can see we're always slowing down gentle on the throttle miss the ocean that's on the apex there of that curb and then tease it round. See, look at my throttle. It's nowhere near, anywhere near full throttle until I know I'm not going to run wide or spin out. So please, please be, be careful through there. Over the puddles or lakes, as I need to call it. I need to say that. White marker there as it disappears from your monitor. Break in a nice, casual, nice straight line. Again, miss the absolute ocean on the apex. And look at this ocean here that I get, look, appears on exit. Try and avoid that the best you can. You do get loads of wheel spin through there. It's okay to handle it, as you can see, while well, the steering angle's there. But yeah, be cautious because you, it is easy to spin center of the track there we're using the 50 meter marker so breaking a nice straight line all the way to the outside of this corner again we want a late apex on this corner so this is kind of benefiting the wet line all the way around the outside cut it back to the inside miss the curb obviously and the lakes that follow on from that and we can get a decent exit on the racing line because it's not too bad out there so this long straight is basically the long straight the spray down here on the first oming laps will be absolutely biblical so please bear that in mind and play safe and make sure you're braking consistently and maybe a little bit safely as well and bear in mind there are people behind you way before this 100 meter marker again i'm kind of joining back the racing line a little bit too early but it has done work i'm like 30 percent break all the way down there and i get in nice and early onto that apex as well again lake on the apex so avoid that and a little bit of snap of oversteer on there now this one is pretty awkward because there is a giant puddle where we would normally cross so we have to kind of go for the apex and then let the car drift out wide at this point we look at our throttle trace and our braking we're very very gently and we're even further straight line you see in that a lake on that apex and even slower on this one as well with the car slow enough at this point we can kind of stay on the racing line to get the grip and then try and just get the smooth application just using the minimal sort of steering resistance of a normal racing line but that is done and dusted of us in the wet very very fun this circuit in the wet but as long as you stay away from the massive oceans you should be absolutely golden but otherwise that's that lap done and dusted Right, and so done and dusted with the two laps gone. Fingers crossed you have a good week this week. As mentioned, this was much, much nicer in the wet weather compared to, let's say, Montreal that was last week. Uh, Montreal I found very, very slippery. This I found very, very enjoyable even on the wet. The nice big circuit as well. There's going to be plenty of dive bombs. The track is wide enough, so we should have some good racing as well. And like people falling off and hitting walls at uh, previous places. But yeah, fingers crossed you have a good week. Don't forget to like and subscribe to that YouTube stuff. Don't forget to share this around if have you help you out. I'm trying to still grow my channel. So do appreciate that if you do do that. Otherwise, have a good week and we'll catch you on the track.